The general design category recognizes site-specific works of landscape architecture that exhibit distinction in design, function, context, and environmental responsibility. Receiving honor awards in general design are Boston Children's Museum Plaza by Michael Van Valkenburg Associates for the Boston Children's Museum. The jury called this project a fantastic example of placemaking and commended the landscape architect for seizing the opportunity to make the plaza an integral part of the overall visitor experience. Perceptions of difference, distance, size, and scale are playfully manipulated in different ways. A native plant garden provides a four-season laboratory, and marble boulders provide limitless play opportunities. An extensive green roof and rainwater harvesting system protect the nearby waterway from runoff. Walden Studios by Andrea Cochran Landscape Architecture. This working vineyard and arts facility is set in a broad valley in Northern California. Raising the building for flood protection inspired a series of piers extending into a sea of vineyards. Terraces serve as outdoor rooms for receptions and openings. An alley of fruitless mulberries is accessed by a sculptural steel ramp. The jury found the craftsmanship amazingly crisp, saying, this landscape architect has great confidence and knows exactly when to stop. Lost Dog Wash Trailhead by Floor Associates for the City of Scottsdale Preservation Division. The jury declared this project one of the best examples of environmental stewardship this year. The landscape architect salvaged and reused topsoil and more than 1,000 specimens of indigenous plants. Solar power, compost toilets, and rain and gray water harvesting demonstrate the highest ideals of sustainable desert design. Metal structures and site furnishings are unfinished to naturally rust and patina, avoiding the use of paint or other potentially toxic finishes. Fountain Promenade at Chapultepec Park by Grupo de Diseño Urbano for the Mexico City Government Citizens Regent Group and revived Chapultepec Board of Donors. This historic Mexico City Park dates back to the 1460s, but had fallen into serious disrepair. The jury admired how the landscape architect recaptured the sense of place, yet added sustainable practices. A fountain promenade connects two major museums and creates a new pedestrian paseo. Water quality improvements provide a clean habitat for aquatic animals. Mulch, tree pruning, and soil aeration increase plant cover. Artistic lighting, furnishings, and signage have drawn dramatic increases in park visitorship. Lagoon Park, Living at the Edge of Wilderness by Van Atta Associates for the University of California, Santa Barbara. When state officials required protection of tarweed near the site for new residence halls, the landscape architect saw an opportunity to immerse students in nature. Authentic vernal pools were created. Plants were propagated from within the watershed for genetic accuracy. Ramps, showers, bike racks, and outdoor study areas concentrate traffic to defined areas, protecting newly created habitats. Well done, said the jury. To create an ecosystem is incredibly difficult, and this landscape architect paid attention to detail throughout the project. The Washington Monument by Olin Partnership for the National Park Service. The jury called this an elegant solution to a tremendous problem, how to turn an anti-terrorist project into a welcoming public space. New plants, lights, furnishings, and a granite-paved plaza breathe life into the site. Thirty-inch granite walls curve gracefully around the monument, providing seats for visitors, but also guarding against truck bombs. 
The gently graded pathways provide a sweeping view as visitors approach the monument. The landscape architect proved that security design can be functional and artful. James Clarkson Environmental Discovery Center by MSI Design for the Huron-Clinton Metropolitan Authority. The landscape architect led a multidisciplinary team to design this 70-acre center, highlighting the area's wetland, prairie, and forest ecosystems. More than 170 plant species were re-established. A plexiglass classroom extends into the kettle pond. Council rings serve as teaching platforms. Water from the geothermal heating system irrigates a local golf course. Bioswales collect stormwater runoff from the parking lot. The jury found the plant list particularly impressive and called it a place of grace, beauty, and healing. Gannett USA Today headquarters by Michael Ferguson Landscape Architects for Gannett Incorporated. The jury hailed this 25-acre project in busy Tyson's Corner, Virginia as a new approach to corporate typology that feels more natural and organic. Two acres of green roofs and garden terraces provide employees with access to the outdoors. Pedestrians and water move through a series of runnels and terraced gardens. Angled stone walls direct rainwater through riparian step pools. The landscape architect developed a site strategy to seamlessly weave the indoor and outdoor spaces of this beautiful refuge. And receiving the Award of Excellence in General Design is The Lurie Garden by Gustafson Guthrie Nickel for Millennium Park Incorporated. This three-acre public garden sits on top of an underground parking garage in Chicago's Millennium Park providing a quiet respite for people and urban wildlife. A living wall provides a sense of enclosure for the garden's interior. A boardwalk floats over a shallow water feature. Locally grown native plants and local stones provide a constant reference to Chicago's place within the Midwestern prairie. The jury called it an oasis in the center of the city and said, it is far and away the most outstanding example of work submitted to the awards program this year.